Hi, this is Tinsley with Distash. We're here at the premiere of Call Me Dancer at the opening night of the Dance on Camera Film Festival in New York City. We'll be talking to the cast and crew, so come check it out. Congratulations on such a big movie this year. Your story was so inspirational. Um, how was filming and making this film? So, it was very different from the fictionalized movie. It's a documentary, so you don't know what's going to happen, you know, because uh, we don't have a timeline, we don't have a ending of the story, so it keeps stretching all the time. So, also, there is no acting in it. Everything is natural because it's a documentary. Characters are real, my parents, my teacher, everyone is real, locations are live. So it, almost everything we did it, it was real. Sometimes it was frustrating too because yeah, some of the scenes are very vulnerable, like uh, the crying scene, emotional scenes, and their camera in front of my face. And they are real, you know, I'm not acting in. So I was like, take it away. It's the fight with my <laughs> director, I'm like, are you not a human? You know, why are you doing this and that? But I'm glad that she did that because the shots and scenes came out so good that right now I watch, I, I also cry out of it. Aww. So she did a really great job making a movie. Why ballet? It just happened to me. I didn't decide that I wanted to do ballet. Just one day I just walk into the studio that I wanted to learn dancing. I give myself a gift on my birthday, that uh, dance class and uh, I went there and I wanted to do contemporary. But if you get a scholarship, you have to do a ballet classes. And then I met a, my teacher, Yehuda Maor. And uh, he asked me like for to come to the morning class. And from there, like uh, somehow I really saw something that I never seen in my life. It was very unique dance form. And uh, he inspired me a lot. So I started doing that and slowly, slowly I fell in love with it. How was it working with Yehuda? It was fun. It was sometimes scary in the beginning because he's really tall and he had a big bo voice when he was there. And I heard that he make everyone cry. <laughs> so I was a little scared, but uh, he's a very sweet human being. He just care about dancing and he the love of art from him is very pure. You've come such a long way from India with the support. It was hard for your parents as well. How do they feel now seeing their son on the big screen and making such a big impact? So obviously they see me on the screen. They are very proud of me, but I'm still know that they, are, they don't understand what I do in the dancing, but they understand that I am in the big screen. So he's doing something, you know? So people are talking with him, there are interviews happening with him, so something he's doing is right. What message would you like your audience to take home? Don't lose hope and uh, keep dreaming and work hard as much you can, just don't give up. What's next in your journey? Right now I'm dancing here in New York with a company called Perry Dance Contemporary Dance Company. So I'm a full company member there, I'm living my dream as a dancer. I am gonna go around the world perform there. That's what I wanted to do. And uh, I really want to take a company that I'm dancing to India because uh, we never seen like with the international people, there's an Indian dancing. So I want to take it there so people can see that it's possible for us, we can dance. You know, we can be there too. Because I can't bring whole India to America, I always say, but I can bring a little bit of America to India. Yeah. That's a great idea. This is the East Coast premiere of Call Me Dancer, so we're very, very excited. How was the response last night at the Santa Barbara opening? Uh, it was fantastic. We actually, people stood up, and even at the end of the question and answer, people wanted to dance, and they wanted our main character, Manish, to show them one of his dances, and they just all started moving, and uh, it was very emotional. But of course, New York is New York. So we're thrilled to be here. I was a professional dancer, and so to connect with all of these dancers in India, to see their passion for dance, to be in the studios in Mumbai, and see all of these young people who just have a desire to dance, um, that was, for me, um, really the best part, because I can connect with them as a dancer. This guy, Manish, he, 
has had so many things to have to wrestle with in order to get where he's gotten, and he's never, never given up. And it's such a model for anybody and everybody. You don't have to be a dancer, you don't have to be an artist at all to see this film. This is about someone who has a desire to do something and follow his or her passion to do something against the naysayers who say, no, you can't do that. No, you're too old. No, you're of the wrong uh, social class or you're the wrong you know, uh, gender and to just say, no, I want to do something and to just keep going with what you desire to do and not let the others bring you down. Manish is the kind of person who has all the determination and passion that it's so alluring. Like you can't help but want to be around him because his energy is just so seductive. My most favorite part about directing this film is not knowing where the story was going to go and having to adjust as the story took us to different places, both positive and sometimes negative. I want that people to come to see how hard people, young people struggle to make it in the arts, especially now in this particular time in the world, and uh, that there's uh, that they that there's so many struggles for, for the for young people to make it in the arts, and I think that this movie is a um, is a is a, a glimpse into that journey. That young young artists make, and uh, and so I hope that that it inspires people to support the arts, uh, dance, and other any kind of performing art. This film was part of our production grantee program a few years ago, and so we've had a really beautiful, um, close contact relationship with this film through its development, and so we're excited to see it open our festival this year. As a young dancer, I mean, to see a powerful, moving story like this about a young man like taking that journey, taking the plunge, and having teachers and people help him along the way, it's really special. Call me dancer.